Hey guys, it's Kelly, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share a few brands that I recommend checking out in 2020. These are some brands that you've probably heard of. I don't think I picked any brands in this video that I think are super duper under the radar, but I do think they're brands that when I talk to people about them, especially in my everyday life, they haven't tried anything from the brand. And I definitely think that these brands have a lot to offer. I mean, not every product is gonna be a hit and some of these brands do have duds that I will share. But overall, I recommend checking out products from these brands in the next year. Today's video is a fun one because it's a collaboration with my friend, Samantha March. We have done quite a few collaborations before. So I'm really excited to be working with her again. I've been able to meet Samantha twice now, once in Kansas City we met up, and then most recently in October of 2019, we shared a hotel room in New York City when we were there for Ipsy Live with quite a few other creators. And I just think she's such a kind person. Her work ethic is incredible. She uploads so frequently. She has a podcast, she is an author. I have read three and a half of her books. I'm halfway through the third book in the series and then over Christmas I read, she has a little mini Christmas novel called The Christmas Surprise, it was super cute. But like I said, I've collabed with her before, I talk about her often, so many of you guys watching this are probably like, yeah, I know, y'all are friends, get on with the video. So let's go ahead and hop into five brands that I wanna try, or no, I want you to try. I think you should try in 2020. All right, this first brand was a 2019 discovery for me. No, that's not true. I had tried one of their products before 2019, but I really got into the brand in 2019. And this is actually a skincare brand, but they do have some makeup. So I'll share a little bit of both, but it's The Ordinary. I've been talking about them a lot recently and I've really, truly fallen in love with the brand. So I picked out a few standout products from The Ordinary. Honestly, I had to narrow this down because I had originally grabbed like everything I owned from them and I was like, here are my standout ones and I'm like, edit yourself, Kelly. So my favorites. My number one recommendation from the brand is the Hyaluronic Acid. It's 2% plus B5. I use this every single day. Now the thing about Hyaluronic Acid, I always wanna mention this in videos, you wanna apply it on damp skin and then immediately lock it in with a heavy occlusive moisturizer. So if you're not doing those steps, you're not gonna get the most out of this product, but their Hyaluronic Acid is fantastic. And I know a lot of people have a New Year's resolution to start taking better care of their skin. And if you do, this is a great place to start because all of their products are really affordable. By the way, I'm getting sick and you might hear it in my voice. I'm a little sniffly, my eyes are watering. And I did just film this makeup look. I think it's up already. It was for the Pantone color of the year. If you missed that, I'll link it below. But all of their products are extremely affordable. This is, I believe, $6. This, like six or $7, this is great. This is the AHA BHA peeling solution. It's a chemical exfoliant. It's pretty intense. You only want to use it about once a week, but you put it all over the skin and it's, basically gonna slough everything off and give you brand new skin. I love it. And most recently I've added their retinol 2%, not 2%, 0.2% in squalane. The Ordinary is a brand I would definitely check out. I love them. I love their foundation primer. That's a great one as well. And most of their products are less than $10. All right, let's talk about a brand you guys could probably guess pretty easily, Persona Cosmetics. I definitely recommend checking them out. They're now sold in Ulta, so they're a little bit more accessible. Oh, also The Ordinary is sold in some Ulta stores, and I don't know if they're in stores at Sephora or just online, but both retailers do sell them, but not the entire line. The entire line is found on Desium's website, but The Ordinary also has a couple of stores, uh, physical stores. I went to one in New York City, so definitely accessible. Persona Cosmetics. I have not tried anything from Persona Cosmetics that wasn't good, and I have tried everything in the line. I mean, I haven't tried every shade of everything. Like they have one eyeshadow palette I haven't tried. They have a couple other shades of highlighters I haven't tried, but I've tried their highlighter formula, their palette formula, their lipstick, their lip gloss. Nothing is a dud. And honestly, I don't even think there's anything in the line that I just think is okay. Every product from Persona Cosmetics is amazing. I don't know how they do it. Actually, I think I think I do know how they do it. I mean, they obviously put a lot of work into it, but one thing I really respect about Persona Cosmetics is that they release products pretty slowly. Like right now, they don't have a full line. They just have eyeshadow palettes, lip gloss, lipstick, eyeliners, highlighters. I think that's everything. So you can tell that they put a lot of time and effort into the releases and it shows so Mm, what are my standouts from the brand? Honestly, everything. I'm wearing an, a liquid lipstick from Persona today. It's OG. This is my number one favorite liquid lipstick formula. Also my number one favorite lip gloss formula. This highlighter 
cannot be beat. This is the shade Zuma. If you like a blinding highlight, this is the one for you. This is like about as intense as they get. The Identity 2 palette was listed as one of my top five palettes of 2019. So I mean, everything from the brand stands out to me. They're all such high quality products check out Persona Cosmetics. All right, this next brand is a brand that gets talked about a decent amount, but I still wanted to mention them, and that's the Balm. So the reason I threw the Balm onto this list is because they're not necessarily the most accessible brand. They're not sold at Ulta, they're not at Sephora, but they are at Kohl's. Some drugstores I've heard sell them, but I've never seen them in any of my drugstores. But I just, I think because they're not as accessible as other makeup brands and they're not seen in like Ulta, a lot of people skip over the balm. And they've got some major hits. So for me, my favorites, I think my number one favorite thing that I've tried from the balm is the Mad Lash Mascara. It's the one I'm wearing today. People think I wear, I'm have, I have fake eyelashes on. Like this mascara is amazing. As well as the liner I'm wearing today, the Schwing eyeliner. This, if you struggle to create a wing, you need to get the Schwing eyeliner. It makes it so simple. Like this, today and many days, I decided to put on eyeliner as an afterthought. Like I already had mascara and everything on. And this is probably the only eyeliner that I can use that I can just apply it after mascara and still get a pretty good line. Their Take Home the Bronze Bronzer is probably one of their more popular products right now. It's a really good cool tone bronzer that works really well for contouring, but also to kind of be an everyday bronzer. The only thing from the balm that for me is not like an absolute favorite is the eyeshadow formula. I think their cream eyeshadows are very bad. Skip the cream eyeshadows. But the powder eyeshadows, if you are a beginner, you're probably gonna really like them. And I used to really enjoy their eyeshadow formula, but if you're a little bit more advanced, you'll probably find that they lack pigmentation. And I also don't find that the staying power on them is super significant, so you're gonna wanna pair them with a primer. But I definitely don't think it's a bad eyeshadow formula. And like I said, I think it's very beginner friendly to use. So check out the ball. Maybe next time you're in Kohl's. Ooh, their liquid lipsticks are pretty good also. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting their most famous product and my favorite product from the balm, the Mary Luminizer, duh. First product I ever purchased from them, cold favorite, amazing highlighter. I will never stop loving this highlighter. So I know a lot of you guys have probably have tried this particular product from the balm, but I recommend checking out maybe some other things that they have. I really like a lot of products from the line. All right, you knew it was coming. I love Koki Cosmetics and I definitely re recommend checking the brand out in 2020. So this is an affordable brand. Honestly, nothing in this video is like extremely high-end. They're all more affordable to kind of mid-ranged, except for the final one is kind of more high-end. But this brand is available at certain Rite Aid locations, certain Walmart locations. If you live in the Midwest and you have a Meyer near you, I've seen them at my Meyer. Now, I don't think everything from Koki is fantastic, but a lot of things are in the standouts for me. I love the foundation. So this is their full cover foundation. I just watched the Taylas. No, she changed her name, Taylor Wynn. I just watched Taylor Wynn's best foundations of 2019 video and she put this foundation in and I was like, yes, I totally agree. But hearing it from her says a lot because you, we know she's the foundation queen. That's what she does is test out foundations and she put this in her top foundations. It's amazing. They have two foundations, by the way. This is the one with kind of the gold cap to it. It's the full cover. And then they have an HD foundation. That one's a different one. Also love their concealer. It's more lightweight and light coverage. Actually medium coverage. So if you're into that super full coverage concealer, you might not love this one. This is pretty full coverage. This is like a perfect everyday concealer. I think it's a pretty good dupe for the First Aid Beauty Bendy Avocado Concealer. Love their lip liners. Don't love their eyeshadow formula. Again, I do think it's beginner friendly. They're a little bit softer and they're buildable. I don't mean... I don't mean soft in terms of actual texture. I mean like they build up softer, like you don't get as much impact. Not my favorite eyeshadow formula, but in terms of complexion products, so good. This powder contour kit, so my project pan right now, I decluttered every other contour kit that I have that were all high-end just because this one is better. And finally, Sigma Beauty. So I know a lot of people have tried Sigma Beauty, but mostly their brushes seem to be what gets discussed. And obviously their brushes are fantastic. I highly recommend Sigma brushes. 90% of the time I'm using my Sigma brushes. They're my favorite in my collection. They hold up better than any other brush brands that I have tried. And they have such a wide variety of shapes that you can find the perfect brush for whatever you need, which makes sense because that's their main thing is brushes. But they also have really good makeup. So I wanted to share that today. 
You know, I love the Enchanted palette. This was also in my top five palettes of 2019. This is such a standout for me. The formula is fantastic. The color story is beautiful. I love their eyeshadow base primers. This was another hit for me from me for 2019. I wear the shade Ignite as kind of my everyday color that matches my skin tone, but they do have six colors. They have matte ones and shimmer ones. You can use it as an eyeshadow base. You can use it as a cream shadow. You can use it to amplify color. Again, I don't love everything from Sigma. Their single blushes for me were just not pigmented enough, but then I have their blush palette, which is like super pigmented, so that's kind of weird. Of course, the number one thing I recommend from the brand is the brushes, but I've really fallen in love with the makeup products as well. But that's gonna go ahead and complete this video. Those were five brands that I think you should check out in 2020. Let me know down below if you've tried anything from these or if you have any brands on your list that you're interested to try in the new year. Definitely check out Samantha's channel if you are not already subscribed. It'll be linked in the description box down below. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next one. Bye.